All right, so I think I'm ready to put the tarp on. You can see I got the three horizontal pieces hooked on. That central center piece is irrelevant now. That was plan A, it's not gonna happen. Uh, you can see what I did with it there with the elbows and with the uh, tees. Uh, I had this foam stuff to protect the the tarp from the windshield, but that may or may not be relevant. Well, I guess it will be here on the corners. And then I put some boards on the, across the bow to hold the snow. Hopefully that'll be enough. I had a pallet coming, but it didn't come in time, and I need to cover this up and get it all sewn up. So my next step here is to put the tarp up over it. And I'll get some rope, and I'm going to tighten it all down from underneath so that the thing is tight, and hopefully... Uh, won't uh, get any snow weighing it down. Hopefully it'll all just slide off and not weigh down and and break through the tarp or mess mess up the frame or anything. So I need to try to keep that dry over the winter because when he does the floor in the spring, that has to be dry. And as you can see, the floor looks pretty rough. But, um, and it may well be rotted or who knows what underneath there. Uh, but I'm just going to put plywood over it, rug over that, and call it a day, knowing that I'm just buying myself time. I understand that there could be things under there I don't like. And then some new seats. Clean it up the best I can inside and out. A little work on the engine. And I'll be good to go over the summer. Oh, I'm going to put a trolling motor up on the bow for, for trolling. Uh, and hopefully I get a few good years out of it. At some point I'll have to upgrade the motor. I fully expected to have to do that and will at some point but keep the hull and then at some point upgrade the hull and keep the motor or just keep uh, upgrading over the years until I get something really nice.